Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about how float is stored in computer memory. To store a floating point number, 4 byte memory will be allocated in computer memory. If we have a variable float num equals to 10.75, and here we have 32 bits memory space, and we have 1 bit for sign, 8 bit for exponent, and 23 bit for mantisha. Alright, if we convert this number 10.75, this number will be look like this 1010.11. Now we have to normalize this binary number into this format. And here we'll have one point here significant bit. Here we'll have some bit and then 2 to the power exponent. If we convert this number into this format, then it will be look like this 1. 0.01011 times 2 to the power 3 and here exponent equals to 3 and significant bit 01011 in floating point number no concept called two's complement to store negative numbers to overcome that i triple e754 came up with a bias concept where we add some positive value to negative exponent and make it positive whether it is a negative or positive they add bias value to exponent value to reduce implementation complexity. And here bias equals to 2 to the power n minus 1 and here minus 1. This is formula to calculate bias value and here n equals to 8. Because we have here 8 bits for exponent. Then 2 to the power 8 minus 1 minus 1 equals to 127. Now we are going to normalize this exponent. For that normalized exponent equals to 127 plus 3 and here we're adding this 3 with this bias value 127 equals to 130 and that's equivalent to this binary number and this number will store here we have 8 bits per exponent right in computer memory it will be look like this we see here 10.75 this number is a positive number so this sign bit should be 0 because for positive number the sign bit is 0 and then the next 8 bit here we have next 8 bit and this is for exponent here we see right and this is the value for exponent this is the normalized exponent and here we'll store this binary then we have your significant bit 01011 and here this 4 bit will store right here 01011 right and the rest and the rest of the bit will be 0 if we have this program and if we have this computer memory this number will be stored in this computer memory right and it will print 10.75 and this number 10.75 will be stored in computer memory like this and now let's talk about how it's print 10.75 because we have here this format okay now let's see that all right here we have this variable and this binary number right and here we have to convert this number into this format okay and here we have exponent for exponent one zero 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 one zero right and that's equivalent to 130 and here 130 minus 127 and this is the bias value equals to 3 all right we get the value of the exponent then here we have for this format 1 and here we have 0 1 0 1 1 right this is significant bit what we have right after the exponent okay so it will be this part in computer memory right and in here this part from here to here and we have 2 to the power 3 here and here we get the exponent now we can write this binary like this okay and then we'll get back 10.75 and how we detect it a positive number because here we have significant bit 0 so this is a positive number that's how the program calculate 10.75 from this binary representation right and then finally it's print 10.75 all right try running this program on your id whether you are using code blocks or any other id no worry i think 
now we have a clear understanding of this topic how float is stored in computer memory right and there is no secret and that's all about it thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye bye